Hello, my name is Nate Zeisler, and I lead APAP's Young Performers Career Advancement Program, or YIPCA for short. YIPCA is a professional development program for emerging classical musicians designed to help them gain a better understanding of the profession. In October, we held two weeks of professional development sessions, and I'm thrilled to be able to bring this showcase to you today as a culminating event in the YIPCA program. YIPCA would not be possible without the ongoing support of APAP's Classical Connections Committee, Executive Director Lisa richards Tony, Programs and Resources Director Krista Bradley, and the ongoing support of the practitioners who helped bring this program to life. Thank you so much for joining us for this showcase. Hello, we're the Day Quartet, currently based in Boston, Massachusetts, where we're in residence at the New England Conservatory. I'm Justin, I'm one of the violinists in the group, and our other members are Angela, Ben, and Russell. We're so sorry that we can't be with you in person, and we hope you're doing well during this difficult time. We wanted to share a little bit of our music. This is the last movement of Bela Bartok's String Quartet No. 4, one of the most important works written in the 20th century that inspired a huge range of composers. We even think it sounds like it could have inspired some heavy metal. In this movement, Bartok is weaving together strands from all the previous four movements in a variety of styles, including an Arabian-inspired tune and the classic Hungarian folk rhythms which Bartok is so well known for. We hope you enjoy this energetic, playful, and raucous finale.
is Gabriel Martins and I'm a cellist originally from Bloomington, Indiana. I'm sorry that we cannot be with you in person now as we wish to do so, but fortunately we are still able to share some music together through the power of the internet. So for us cellists, the six suites by Johann Sebastian Bach are really our Bible. It's kind of like asking a great chef to cook the perfect flawless French omelette. You know, for us, this Bach is as fundamental as water. So the performance you're about to hear is the Sarabande of the first cello suite. And this is taken from a concerto performance I did. This is the encore from a concert recently in Orange County, California. So I hope you enjoy and thank you very much. My name is Francisco Fullana. I am a violinist, originally from Spain and you know, living in the U.S. now for a long time. And I'm excited to share with you the music from my childhood, uh, Isaac Albeniz, Asturias. Uh, probably most of you have heard it mostly on guitar, uh, maybe on piano, which is the original version, uh, but I actually made my own arrangement uh, for violin. And I've changed the key and made sure that it fits the hands. Uh, and yeah, it's it's a music that I grew up with uh, when I was a little kid. Probably one of the very first pieces that I ever heard of classical music. So I'm, of course, I'm, I'm disappointed that I can't share this and the rest of the program with you at APAP in New York City in person. 
Um, but I do hope that we get to meet in person, you know, sometime soon, that everybody's staying safe, and yeah, that you enjoy this music. Thank you.
Hello, my name is Dominic Haley, and I'm a Los Angeles-based pianist. I have two short works to present today, the first by H. Leslie Adams, a living composer. This is his Etude in A-flat minor, a work that combines his love for jazz, gospel music, choral music, his African-American heritage, into a piece that is intricate and exquisite in its melodic content, harmony, and color. Then we go to the finale of Erwin Schulhoff's Suite for the Left Hand Alone. This piece would have been written for Schulhoff's friend, Atakar Hallman, who fought alongside him during World War I. During this conflict, Hallman actually lost the use of his right arm, and so to welcome uh, his friend back into the musical fold, Schulhoff wrote this piece for Left Hand Alone. It's an exciting work, and Schulhoff is part of the Recovered Voices initiative that I am also involved in here in Los Angeles, California. We do our best to bring about the recovery and revival performance of composers who are neglected, forgotten, persecuted, or killed in Schulhoff's case by the Nazi regime of the 1940s. So I hope you enjoy these two wonderful and unique pieces of music. Mm -hmm. 